whoever inspected this, and I actually know who it is, up north somewhere, I'm not going to say Michigan, but somewhere around there, the whole trim rail on top of this wasn't brought up in the report three months ago. It didn't get dried up in the last three months, just saying. So, told you before, and I want you to put attention on this. This inspector needs to be interviewed. It's RV inspection day, and today we are in Lawrenceville, Georgia, about to inspect this beautiful Holiday Rambler Armada 44LE. Now, as you can see, it's a rainy day here. It's the beginning of January, and it's cold everywhere in the country, even here in Lawrenceville. But hopefully it's going to be warmer inside. So let's go check out my first glimpse and my stow and go. So come on in for my first glimpse and my stow and go. So when everything is stowed in, as you can see, you've got good access to the kitchen. You've got good access to the microwave, the refrigerator. You do have a half bath here, but I'm gonna tell you, you're going to need to be pretty tiny to get in there. And I don't think that's gonna be the case. And you also have to be pretty tiny to squish through to get to your bed. But that's only if you're getting in here to grab a little sandwich or something when you're on the road, great. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to open up a slide in the back to get to the bedroom and the bathroom. So that is the stow and go on the 44 LE. Welcome to Georgia, they said. Holy moly, it is wet. So we just came in here. At least we're lucky enough to be underneath this pavilion. So I already need my wipers this morning. It, it is bad. So it's gonna be like this till about lunchtime. So I figured, okay, let's try to fast forward. I already did a first glimpse around this. It's okay. It's just because I'm anal. I don't like those little things. Like in the back, I'll show you. But right here, PDI's been done. If you remember in that window, it said PDI circle, done. They forgot to put a lock, I guess. They felt like, okay. They probably thought that, nah, they don't need it really. Whoever was doing the ceiling was probably drunk. Look at this. I mean, I don't know about you. This is, for me, that's a disgusting job. So you're only, well, yeah, you're right. I forgot. You're only paying, what, three, four hundred thousand bucks. So get over yourself. It's a freaking RV. Yeah, right. So same thing on this side. Good all over the place. It's, yeah, the ethic is not that much into this. So that don't announce good. And I got to show you something else. I forgot to show you, we went right by it, but that's the first thing I saw when we came in. So let's go back on the other side. So first thing we saw when we came in this morning is this little glare, this screw that almost, almost went through the body. So I guess they got lucky on that screw. It didn't come out all the way. So we'll be checking this out. So let's see how this day's gonna go and we'll wrap it up at lunchtime. All right, lunchtime recap. The lamination. If you got someone yours, just remember that's what it looks like. And this poor customer, I told them when I was up on mine that their slide out topper, which they didn't know, is actually ripped off, gone. And whoever inspected this, and I actually know who it is, up north somewhere, I'm not gonna say Michigan, but somewhere around there, the whole trim rail on top of this wasn't brought up in the report three months ago. It didn't get dried up in the last three months, just saying. So, told you before, and I want you to put attention on this. This inspector needs to be interviewed. You need to have a connection. You need to try to see where they come from, what kind of knowledge they have. Certification doesn't mean that you're good at what you're doing. Remember the buyer, remember the lawyers, remember the doctors. Just keep that in mind. I'm not putting nobody down. Maybe, just saying. So don't get screwed. You, you got enough to deal with a camper with an RV. You don't need to deal with an inspector on top of it. So disappointment for me, this unit is, it's not the rev group that I'm, I will typically put them a little bit on the pedestal because I like their consistency. But they were consistent with this one, I could tell you. For me, this is unacceptable. None, and Hamilton will know, this is not acceptable for me. So here's the work here. Look at this, and tell me how you feel. Everything is open. This has been 
sealed back because at the shop, when the paint was done and it all cracked, see the paint here, it all cracked. So before it left the shop, let's just put some sealer on there so it looks good, sending it to the dealer. Those are the kind of things where, yes, manufacturers should be accountable. This is not the dealer's fault, but now the dealer's stuck with the problem. So how are they gonna address this? All right, the other side. Moly everywhere, it's ridiculous. So right here, just to give you an idea, so they missed on that one, okay. Right up there in that corner, on that trim rail, on that gutter, same thing. Hopefully we can see that. I took a couple of footage for that, so we'll be able to put that up there. Up there, up here, seal it missing everywhere. It's like whoever was on the job was sleeping or is dealing with big personal problem because this is inconsistent to the highest level. I I'm kind of stunned with this. This particular rear slide out, on top of the roof, you can see there was water puddling. So I just asked my wife to check inside if we didn't have water intrusion in there. So we'll test that after lunch. We'll see where we're at. I just barely found this. Hopefully it's not an issue. Let's go towards the front. So here's the conundrum here this morning. I've got this one here and I got this one here. Now my slides are open. I had to figure out a way to have my ladder between opening and closing to make sure to inspect everything. So, hey, at least I'm undercover. I mean, this is pouring, should be pouring for another couple of hours. So I'm kind of undercover, so I'll, I'll appreciate it. It made us start way later this morning, so we're a little bit running behind. I'll say this again, as usual. You come up here, see your slide, see your seal, unroll them, untuck them. It's called tuck and roll. I mean, not a big deal, but it could save your butt from water issues down the road. I went through my roller on the need here. Everything looked perfect. It was all nice. I appreciate seeing those. That's why we go halfway, and I try to go underneath there to see if those rollers in the right position and try to do the job that they're supposed to do, that they were intended to do. So on that note, let's go see what Laurel has to find so far. So it's lunchtime, and this is an absolutely gorgeous unit. Now, so far, I don't really have a lot to tell you because Pierre took forever setting up this morning and getting us going. Not all his fault. It was pouring and still is pouring cats and dogs. But the couple of little things that I have found, we've got some ceiling dirt here at the entrance. Okay, not a big deal. They will need to do that. We also have a broken vent over here. So they'll fix that also. I am saving my water, as you know, for the end of the day because I couldn't start it anyways. But let's just talk about something. So I'm gonna link this video above. Now this video, we did this a couple of weeks ago. We are now just the beginning of January. We did this inspection right before Christmas. Our customer called us this morning when we were leaving to come to this inspection and she's upset. First of all, they didn't want an inspector to come on site to begin with, but they said, okay, this time. They've been giving her the runaround. She has sent them the CRL list. They want to get rid of her. She's gone through two salespeople. The first one quit, left, we don't know. The second one, she's made her cry a couple of times. She's losing sleep at night. She doesn't want to deal with our customer anymore. The customer simply wants to get fixed what we found on this RV so she can pay for it and get on with her vacation. People, this is really important. You need to have an RV inspection. She did exactly what she needed to do, but the dealer is not backing her up after the inspection. They're not there fixing this unit in a proper amount of time. They've done nothing and it's already been two weeks. It's your right, it's your money, don't you agree? In the comments below, would this make you happy if this was you asking for these repairs to be done on a brand new RV that you just want to get out there and go camping with? Tell us in the comments below. And if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. This helps us in the algorithm and leave us a comment. If you don't know what to say, just put C4BO, comment for Blue Ox. And don't forget, share it with your friends because you never know when they're ready to become an RVer also. So stick around, I'll do my water. Do you think the shower's gonna leak? Let's just hope he fits in the shower stall, six foot nine. And I think we're gonna meet our customer, so stay tuned. And I'll let you know what I find by the end of the day. 
see you at the end of the day. It's the end of the day, and no, that's not my footprint, but somebody decided to stand on the cream-colored couches. Who does that? I mean, check out this light leather. Yes, it sticks out like a sore thumb when you see the dirt on it. Is it that bad? No, I would just tell my customer to clean it themselves. I wouldn't want somebody else to do the cleaning. And as you know, I save my water till the end of the day. And what do you think happened? Tell me in the comments below. Do you think the shower leaked or did it not leak? I'm going to leave that up to you and we'll just see. But I think you already know. And bam, yes, it does. It leaks. It leaks everywhere. There's a couple of different places that it does leak. Right there, it's missing some of the sealant. And right here, you can see some of the stonework at the bottom of the shower is missing. That's about it for me on the inside. Let's check and see what Pierre had going on on the outside. End of the day recap. Customer shows up. This little thing just pulled up as we were working in here. And you might have heard um, the legend of Bigfoot. <laughs> I think he was the one with the costume. <laughs> so when you visit the country, try to find Hamilton somewhere. And if ever you see him somewhere, make sure to say hi. There's a lot of adventure that happened with Hamilton. On my end of the day recap before I start giving him his voice, Undercarriage was good. I just had a couple of issues with sealant here and there. The door, the main door is not latching properly. We also have a hood issue that somebody tried to bring the hood down and actually bent the cylinder. You were leaving when? Let's unwrap today. the price. <laughs> we're gonna tell you why Lowell started the tall install. Uh, let's do the other version. Even with this, I, I can't win. So, <laughs> Hamilton, the reason why you wanted this floor plan, mm -hmm. it's not because of your width, it's because of your height. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. we never thought about this before, and for whoever, I know we had comments of people saying that, oh, I'm six foot four, I understand. Mm -hmm. All right, so six foot nine is a little bit different. I never thought of it until you said this floor plan, the shower, so that was the deal, is to find this. Mm -hmm. So how was the adventure to make it up to this one? The adventure was great. Um, I'm glad you guys were able to come here and, well, and, and help us out. Yep. And uh, this is a, a beautiful unit. You guys are beautiful. And I knew because you didn't call me earlier <laughs> that this was going to be a good day. So That was the uh, fear at the noon, huh? Yeah. So you guys have saved uh, us a lot of money. Thank you. A lot of time and heartache. And uh, we really appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. You're with friends cool. for life now. Yes, we are, bro. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I want you to too, Laurel. I, I, want, I want to see you in the shower. Oh. Seriously. <laughs> because I was even looking at that today, and I'm thinking, how the hell can you even fit in there? Because I'm thinking, for me, six, six, one. Okay, you got room. Okay. Yeah, I got lots of room. Okay. See when I'm showering. Oh, yeah. Doing my thing. Hey, no, no, it's okay. I can only imagine. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I'm <laughs> There it is. I got elbow room, you know? Yeah, I never thought of that one, though. You're this right. Is, this is perfect. Right. So, I mean, yeah. it is phenomenal. Definitely. No, it is good. Thank you, guys. Hey, you're Thank welcome. You so much. Thank but you. I'm always we had ducking. a blast. So even though it's high yeah. enough, yeah. I'm just ducking because that I'm used to that. Yeah. But it is high. So I'm 6'8", um, and, and I guess, but... This is perfect for us. It perfect is. for me. Yeah. No, that yeah. is cool. And he left the wife somewhere in on the West Coast. Yeah. She's out there. But hey, this is this is a great deal. This is definitely going to work. There we go. So, remember and do never forget. Mm -hmm. It's not about the destination. It's, it's all, all about, about the, the journey. journey. <laughs> See, whoever was doing this 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 sealant was Start again. That was too many. Who, so stop. Shut My up. wife has a, the, a the signal. She's got a down. signal. Left, right. She's getting annoyed now. Listen, let me check out the boogers you didn't get out of your nose. I hate it. I hate the stone go. For me, I hate it. But everything else I love. Looks like I'm going to do it in the bottom. 
<laughs> or the sink. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can't even get it open. Yeah, I'm the room. Okay. See what I'm showering. Oh, yeah. Doing my thing. Hey, no, no, it's okay. I can only imagine. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> I'm showering. There it is. I got elbow room, you know? Yeah, I never thought of that one, though. You're this right. Is, this is perfect. Right. If you enjoy our videos, please hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. If you don't know what to say, just put C4BO, comment for Blue Ox. Thanks for watching. See you next time.